What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and today I want to talk to you guys about competition mindset. So before I get into it, take a second to like my, my channel, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out and uh, helps the channel grow. Alright, so let's dive into it. Now, first thing, the reason why I don't have my shirt on today is because I made another video um, talking about how I was dropping weight for my competition. So now my weight category is uh, minus 73 kilos, right? So right now I'm at 72.5. So I'm actually, uh, I'm actually good for my competition coming up on, um, on th this Sunday. Uh, I'm at 72.5. I'll probably drop another 500 grams so that you know, I can have breakfast and, and so on. And uh, so yeah, this is how it looks, guys. <sighs> Give you guys a little flex, see what it is. I'm 39 years old, guys, and uh, yeah, this is how I look, right? So you notice that I was at about 74, 75 approximately. So I dropped about two kilos, and uh, there's not that much difference. There's definitely more, uh, how do you say, it, uh, overall definition, but uh, this is me at the competition weight, okay? So now one of the reasons why I, I enjoy competing is that it keeps me focused. It gives me a goal, okay? So when I have a goal in mind and I have my weight category, I always train uh, in consequence of, uh, of my category of my goals, right? So I stay in shape, I eat right, and I, I'm more focused at training so that I can... Uh, so that I could uh, get the competition and uh, hopefully win, right? That's, uh, that's the whole point. But now, competition mindset, that's what I wanna talk about in this video. So I've been competing since uh, the age of 30. Uh, 30 was when I started Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I did about, I think, in total, about maybe 10 competitions, more or less. But uh, back then, I, I didn't, to be honest, I, I sucked. I lost at all my competitions. I might have won a couple of uh, uh, fights, right, matches, but I never, um, I never got onto the podium when I was doing BJJ. And then after that, well, I, I, that was at my first club, right? So I did about 10 competitions there for the first three years. Then after that, I changed clubs and I went to another one, another BJJ club. I did that for another three years, but I stopped competing uh, those last three years of BJJ. So anyways, uh, after that, I went off to judo, okay? So I've been doing judo now for about uh, two, two and a half, almost three years. And uh, so I've competed in that time, in that time span, I've competed maybe about, I would say, let's see here, about eight times, eight, eight times, okay? And I started doing well, okay? Uh, the last two competitions that I did last, um, Last season, I I did I, I got onto the podium, so I did second place in one competition and uh, third place in this other one. So, anyways, um, and I, I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video how come, well, how I go about it, you know, the whole mindset thing because I, I experimented a lot with uh, how to go about it, you know, going in super aggressive or. Um, you know, going in to relax, going in, you know, uh, with a game plan, without a game plan, blah, blah, blah. So I tried a whole bunch of things. And uh, finally, I find what I think works for me, okay? Um, and I think that it might uh, give you some, uh, some insight into how it could work for you too. If you're an older guy and you, uh, you haven't competed in a while or you just started competing. So here's my thought process, okay? Competition to me is all about self-improvement improving your game. So I don't see it as a big deal, you know, because let's let's not kid ourselves. If you're if you're starting at uh, at, at my age more or less, like around 30 or, you know, or even 20, well 25 you might still have a little bit of time, but let's say you're 30, you, you have a family, you have a, a career. Uh, chances are you're not you're not trying to go for the Olympics or anything. And a lot of times it's intimidating for guys because you're like, "Well, why should I compete? I'm not there's no point." You know, I'm not trying to, uh, you know, why should I put myself through all this, this pressure, this anxiety, this stress, okay? If, you know, like, uh, uh, it doesn't bring me anything and I'm not, I'm not trying to win the Olympics or the world championships or anything like that. But here's the thing. This video, it's really about, it's not about why you should start competing. It's about how you, maybe how you should approach it, or at least how I approach it mentally. So to me, uh, what it, competition accelerates 
okay, my, my judo game. Okay, it accelerates my, the, the learning curve and it, uh, it just accelerates uh, my improvement overall, okay, because I have a target that I'm aiming for, okay, and when, when you think of it that way, well, then competition is part of your training. So what it is is that like you train in, uh, in let's say, judo or BJJ, but then when it's time to go compete, it's just, a, it's just an extension of your, of, your, um, of your training so that you could get better faster, so you could realize what you're good at, what you're not good at, and especially what you're not good at. That way, um, that way you could keep working on it. You know, or you can make adjustments, and even the stuff that you're good at, well, you can make it better. You know, so because the, one of the reasons why I compete is because later on, when I, eventually I get to my black belt, I'm blue belt right now. Uh, this year, um, if everything goes well, I'll get my my brown belt in judo, and then after that, well, uh, you know, it's 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 uh it's I have to go for the black belt. So I want to get to um, I want to become a black belt. That's it's important to me. I'm not saying it's it's necessary for everyone. But I want to be a black belt that can actually fight, okay? I don't want to be that type of black belt that uh, some, uh, some, some orange belt or green belt could come and just kick my ass because, oh, you know, he happens to be really fucking strong physically and athletic. You know what I mean? Uh, so it's just important to me, and uh, that's why I, I still compete at this age. And um, so that's the thing. So... Going back to the mindset, so the way I see it, it's just part of training. It's part of my evolution, and it's accelerating my evolution in judo. That's why I compete. So when you look at it like that, the pressure, it, it comes off. You don't have to win. Obviously, you have to do your best, okay? And regardless of whether you win or lose, there's something to, like, what you take away from that experience is fucking gold, okay? It's really, it's really precious, it's what's going to help you like go to the next level, go to the next level, go to the next level. And so when I go to competition now, what works for me is I stay calm, I stay focused, I have a game plan in my mind, but at the same time, I'm ready to go. I'm aggressive, okay? So now what do I mean by being aggressive? Aggressive means attacking, okay? So you're always looking for the finish, for the attack, for the throw, for the submission, okay? It doesn't mean going hard. And I learned that the other day. Uh, uh, I was training at the Olympic Stadium uh, at the National Training Center, okay? Uh, they had a, a, a workout for, for veterans. And uh, I was there with a couple of my buddies. And anyways, it was a group training. A whole bunch of schools were there, a whole bunch of veterans. So we trained. And after that, one of my buddies looked at me and he said, uh, uh, he was telling me, I forgot how we got about, but I think basically I had a hard time, um, you know, uh, doing well in my fights with these older guys. A lot of them were fucking strong, so I was, you know, using a lot of strength too. And then my coach was telling me, fuck, you're not aggressive enough. And then after that, I'm like, yeah, I tried to be, but then I burn out, you know, like. Uh, and then one of, my, one of my teammates, he told me, well, listen, being aggressive doesn't mean going hard, balls to the wall with full strength, uh, you know, 100% of the time. It just means that you're constantly attacking. It's a mindset. So you're looking for a finish. That's what being aggressive means. But at the same time, you are not. You have to stay calm. So I know it's hard, but the more you do competitions, like uh, last year, what, what I did was that uh, to get over the anxiety, I, I did five competitions in a row in like a period of four months. It was like three, no, three or four months. I did five competitions back to back, back to back, back to back. And after that, it became like nothing, you know. So I get there, and it's like the same old shit all the time anyway, you know. So you go in, wow, there's a bunch of people, you know. You don't even, like, uh, it, doesn't, um, it doesn't phase you anymore seeing all these people running around, you know, like warming up and shit. And uh, the atmosphere, you just get desensitized to it. You get used to it, so it's really no big deal. Uh, and then you're able to stay calm because, you know, okay, here we go again, here we go again, right? So you get there, and you have to stay calm. Focus, focus as in you have to have some sort of game plan, okay? Because when you go to competition, it's not the time to start experimenting or to be questioning yourself or not. What you do good, okay, your coach should have already told you and worked out a game plan for you and that's what you go for. And you could adjust, uh, you know, during the, uh, the competition, but when you walk into a fight, you already have to know what you're trying to do, okay? So you have to know like, okay, what's step one, step two, step three, you know, and step four, 
so to speak, you know, like if you get to step four. But you always have to have those first first three steps, um, first three, four steps in your mind already. This is what I'm going to do. And you're not deviating. You're not deviating, you know, unless you get to a level where, wow, you can like just adjust on the fly, uh, out of, you know, like in a fraction of a second, right? And you could just like, you could just do it yourself like that. Okay, that's another story. That's super high level. But if you're not there yet, you have to have a game plan. So stay calm, relax, enjoy it, you know? Breathe. You get there, stay focused. And this is what helps you stay calm too. If you know what you're gonna do, then you're more calm, right? So you go in there, you have to stay calm. And you stay calm because you know exactly what you're going to do. So you just focus on doing what you have to do. Okay. And then at the same time, you got to be ready to go. You're ready to explode. So you have to stay aggressive and uh, keep attacking. Right. You don't want to be on the defensive because defenses doesn't win uh, matches. All right. And um, let's see here. Was there anything else I wanted to? Uh, no. Listen, that's about it. This video went on a little bit longer than than. Uh, than I was, uh, uh, that was uh, I was expecting. So that's it for this video, guys. So like, comment, subscribe, and uh, if you have any questions or if you agree, disagree, let me know down there. Or at least you know what, even if it's not about agreeing or disagreeing, but if you have a mindset that works for you, I'd love to hear it. Uh, this is how I approach my competitions. So this Sunday, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do my thing. It's no big deal. I'm not even stressed. I sleep and I eat very well the, the day or the week, you know, it's, 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 it's just another competition to me. And like I said, it's all about um, accelerating my evolution in judo. That's why I, com I compete. Whether, it, uh, whether I win or not, the important thing is that I learn and I do my best, okay? And I'll tweak it. And of course, the ultimate goal is to win. I'm, don't get me wrong. I'm not going there to fucking lose. I'm going there to fight, right? But that being said, eh. In the big scheme of things, you know, it's, it's about progress. It's about the process that we go through. And I think that's what's important. So that's it, guys. This video is long enough. Peace. I'll see you guys in the next video.